Hello, today's video is about my favorite EDC flashlight, namely the Olight S1 Baton. Actually, I like that so much that I bought two Olights of the same model, just different materials. Here's the basic aloe version, black, and here we have the special edition and there are different versions but I like the raw copper version the most. This one is still new so it's still shiny. Yeah. They both come with a nice lanyard but I don't think it's necessary but still you get it. And I don't know if you can see it. It comes with a small needle attached to it so okay, you can thread it easily here where the lanyard goes. Only the special edition comes with a small traffic cone, but I will come to that later. The Olight runs on either non-rechargeable or rechargeable 1 to 3 batteries only one goes inside you can choose whatever you want and uh, this is what makes it so small but it, at the same time it's really powerful with a maximum output of 500 lumens so yeah this is uh, this, that's one of the reason why I chose not only chose this one but two of this because as you know, uh, in the recent years, uh, technology in flashlights uh, advanced so much that every few months you have new models with higher outputs and uh, you buy one, like here, all right, S15 baton, and a few months later or a year later it's still already outdated. Probably the same will be true with uh, the S1. But uh, I think now we reached a point where, at least for EDC uh, um, purposes, you don't need anything more than this. 500 lumens is already too much. I normally use the medium and low settings. Okay, well, what I mentioned the settings. At the maximum of 500 lumens, it runs for 90 seconds and then it automatically drops to 300 lumens for one hour on the rechargeable and uh, I think one and a half hours on the non-rechargeable batteries. Uh, on the medium setting of 80 lumens it runs for four hours on the uh, rechargeable and six on the non-rechargeable so on this is my most used uh, setting on this flashlight. It has a nice uh, even w uh, white beam which is really useful. Both of them as you can see can tail stand which is really nice. Come with uh, pocket clips. Some people complain about this, these clips because here we have this indentation which tends to make it a bit stiff, not no, not really stiff, but hard to put inside your pocket. But my opinion is that for such a small, uh, lightweight and a short flashlight, if you want to attach it with a clip, it needs to be somewhat tight, otherwise it will flop around and maybe just, just uh, you, you could easily use it, lose it. That's what I mean. Sorry, I had to interrupt because my dogs went crazy outside, so let's move on. Yeah, here, for those of you who are not familiar with the batteries, the uh, CR123s in comparison to standard AA's, they are a lot shorter, a bit wider, but in much higher capacity. That's why I like to use them. I used to like uh, double A's, that's why here I have the S15 baton which runs on double A's or 14500s. 
because uh, WAs are readily available everywhere, but when it comes to performance and uh, longer run times, one, two, threes are better. But if you, for a small EDC light, if you want something with a higher output, here we have the Olight S30 baton, which runs on 18650s or two double uh, two one two threes has an output of one k lumens. Still not very big, but yeah, around just test it yeah, around twice as tall as the S1. Yeah, the L Alu version is a lot lighter than the copper. This is really a massive piece. But it's much nicer looking, I think. Um, one complaint that I read about is that it doesn't have a low voltage uh, indicator. Well, it doesn't have one directly, but indirectly you can see it because when it runs low, you cannot access the, access the higher outputs. So if this is a problem for you, yeah. Just want to mention it, and another problem that some people mention, which I cannot really share, is um, the switch button. It's a side switch, and it doesn't have a lockout mechanism. And in my opinion, it doesn't really need one. Why? When you compare it, for example, to the S15 baton, let's put them both sideways here. Yeah. Here it sticks out more. This, you can see clearly that the, this is an older version of all light flashlights than this one. So what does that mean? When you put it flat on the ground, really hard, you can see it turns on. Now do, I will do the same with this one. Oops. Okay. Button down and I press it really hard and you see it's not activated. Why? Because it's a bit more recessed so you have to really dig in to activate it. On the S30 button for example the button is also recessed but actually much more so and then when you for example have gloves or something on you cannot really feel where the button is. Well, here it's a bit recessed, but not enough, so you can still feel where the switch button is. So I really like that. It's for me, it never activated accidentally, and here the black version I have for more than six months, and it never, I never had an accidental switch on. Yeah, and. Now I come to the small traffic cone. As I mentioned before, this only comes with the special editions. And for that I will um, make it dark now. See you in a sec. Okay, here we go. Here's the flashlight on with the cone on. In different settings, and yeah, it act, acts like a small lantern or something. And when you switch it off and take the cap off, it's a glow in the dark um, cone, so it keeps glowing for a few minutes later, only a few when you just need a few seconds of activation and still, still keeps glowing for, for minutes or more. Yeah. Okay, here we are back in daylight. One more thing. Both of these lights have uh, magnets in the tails, which is really practical, I think. But if you really want to, you can take off the magnet if it 
noise you if you carry it along with some electronic devices but it often comes in handy when you can attach it to a metal surface and have your hands free okay that's it thank